Would you like to support Cubs Out Loud? One way is to join us over on Patreon. For as little as a buck a month, patrons get early access to our shows, the pre and post show, and various other rewards. You can learn more at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Thanks to all of our patrons for their support in making this podcast. July 28th, 2024, or is it 27th? I'm confused. It's 28th. Okay. But the... Anyways. My name is Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. Welcome to Cups Out Loud, the very podcast of Intercommunal Link, episode number 748. Uh, we are no longer an airplane, uh, but we are traveling to another state. Why? Because of food. Just eat it, eat it. Okay, people are adjusting the numbers in front of me, so I actually see that the that it actually indeed would be the twenty eighth, because I can't do math and the numbers were not necessarily right on the the document I have, so that's why. Anyways, we're continuing on from last week. Gary, take us over to Wisconsin. By the way, my uh, my uh, I had family from Wisconsin. Uh, all of my family in Wisconsin has moved to Minnesota. The the better state, except Wisconsin is known for for its cheese, and you know what I really like cheese. So I'm part Wisconsinite. I would still consider myself a Minnesotan, Good. but I can at Good least claim you. partial part Wisconsinite. <laughs> Anyways. So, yes, we are returning to Wisconsin. It is the Let's Talk About Food States Fairs 2024 Part 2. And if you recall, in last week's episode, we talked about Wisconsin's uh, state fair introduced over 100 new foods this year. And uh, no, we are not going over all of them. We, but we are continuing the list of uh, culinary items that we have uh, put together for discussion. Uh, and kind of comes down to two main areas. One, would we eat it? Two, would we buy it? Because sometimes we're willing to taste it, but we're not willing to shell out any clams for that stuff. <laughs> uh, I would so... like to make a, a minor uh, oh. distinction for the scale. Uh oh. It's actually a, a three step it's skip it, try it, buy it. So we can put oh. this on the scale, kind of like it, like a, a, in some sense, like a one to three, right? Right. Uh, but it's mm. actually probably a little bit broader than that because we found out last week, at least I figured out last week, was there were parts where I was like, I try it, but it's kind of a low end of try. So there's a little bit of a range in between. So there's like a range of 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 a skip it, range of try, right. range of buy. Like buy right. is like, give it to me now for the top end. And Skip is like, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's fair. A skip it is a pass. A, a try it is a. I'm 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 intrigued. I I will go further okay. with this. You may proceed, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> you may proceed. And the and Ow. the buy it is the buy it is shove it in me. So yeah, I I get that. That's fair. Please so say. with that being said, let's dive into our first item, the funnel dog. Oh, okay. uh, wow. Fun we're we're going to start off with something phallic after you said, shut it in me. 
no one is shocked by this. The funnel <laughs> dog is the perfect combination of sweet and savory that is guaranteed to satisfy the traditional fair food cravings you wait for all year long. A foot long hot dog dipped in funnel cake mix and then deep fried to perfection and topped with all the classics. So Jeff, applying your your newly minted patent pending copyright notwithstanding. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about food uh, food fair scale um, I am turned off by the funnel part of it right so I, I just don't like funnel cake uh, but it's a hot dog it's a wiener I like putting wieners in my mouth so I would at least try we it. know I mean, your your recent your recent you know um, escapades to Cincinnati has I, proven. I, I, I was gifted a fan. I was gifted a fan uh, uh, like a, a <laughs> yeah. week or so ago. Uh, the only problem <laughs> with this fan is that it only has one word on it, and this is not something that I would fan right now. But there is something I would fan, but I don't have the fan, so I'm going to need somebody else to fan for me. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Fact. Okay. That's very fair. That being said, <clears throat> um, so like I, w I will yeah. say this for those that can't see the the visual, it looks like a corn dog. Yeah, like with a I with like a corn dogs. a weird tiger tail chocolate stripe on the outside. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah, I, I and and I don't like corn dog. Mm. But this is That's not this is not like pancake batter, so. I like it. I don't know. This is kind of like a. Mm, I'm not a fan of funnel cake to begin with. Yeah. And it's not like. So this, like, this I, don't, I think funnel cakes are gross. Again, it's more of a texture thing for me. Um, but I, I would definitely say I'll, I would try it because of the wiener. Wow. Um, I would buy this. I would absolutely buy this. Okay. Um, funnel cake like so i am one who i don't know if you all remember but i remember like back in the day um like middle school elementary school lunch you used to have the um like sausage on a stick and um it was mm -hmm. basically a pit like wrapped in a pancake and mm -hmm. and um so it was a like sausage wrapped in pancake um and i i love the fuck out of that so this is kind of going along that line to me and I would mm -hmm. be all for it. But I also, unlike Jeff, I like corn dogs as well. So this kind of right. all kind of goes together. Um, I would want to know if there is a dip of some kind. Like, yeah, I would want to know if there's a dip. Yeah, like like it's a little weird because they say top with all the classics, and I'm like, what are the classics? Well, you're not the describing are usually, them. So, powdered sugar, strawberry, like like the strawberry like uh -huh. stuff, and then um, chocolate. Right, Those but are like, three classics. looking at this photo, it's very difficult to tell right. quite what it comes with, other than I think that's chocolate drizzle that's been put over it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. some powdered sugar, if you look close enough, and if you're not looking close enough, it just looks like the powdered sugar is like a reflective, like, <laughs> shine. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's that. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I, I know me personally, I would, I would try this. I, or I would buy this. Okay. I would try it. I might be willing to buy it, but I almost feel like, well, since it's a foot long... If anybody is willing to let me have a bite of it so I could taste it, that's like the, probably the f the first option, right? That's fair, and, you know. And then go from there. Okay, so staying in the kind of the sweet realm, here's something interesting: granola bar cream sandwich trio. So this features three flavors of soft, chewy granola bars filled with a rich vanilla cream and drizzled with a tangy raspberry lemon sauce. Granola bar cream sandwich flavors include honey almond, almond chocolate, and espresso almond chocolate. They are gluten-free and dairy-free. 
So you basically get a little food boat, and inside of it are three ice cream sandwiches. Um, the filling in the center is the same. The raspberry lemon sauce is the same that's drizzled across all three. It happens to be the sandwich, quote unquote, the granola sandwich that like makes each sandwich. There's two sides to it. Uh, so you get like three little ice cream sandwiches. Okay. Um, <laughs> I am confusion. <laughs> because it says dairy free, but it calls it vanilla cream. Mm-hmm. And there's a cream sandwich. And, and, that part now is it possible to have a cream that is not milk based i'm assuming so you could probably potentially do something maybe with an almond milk considering all of these are almond i have a feeling this is going to be very almond forward mm. um, so maybe it's like a like an I don't, is there an almond heavy cream fuck i don't know um i don't know but that's kind of where i'm going with it it, it it's confusing me because it says dairy free, but it calls it cream. I would need to I would need more information because I don't want to be lied to. Because if I I I don't have these these you know sensitivities, mm-hmm. but if someone I know does, I would want to make sure you're calling it cream, but and saying it's dairy free. Like, yeah, right? there there's. Any anything that's dairy, there is a non or normally dairy, there is a non dairy version. And I don't know how all of it works, chemicals, I'm assuming. But something that's lactose free, like lactose free milk and such. So it right. maybe when yeah. they say dairy free, they mean lactose free or something like that. So for maybe. those with with uh lactose sensitivity, um which is basically what the gluten part of it is. Uh, that's probably what's happening. In any case, right. for me, it's a pass. Mm, yeah. really. Skip it. And here's why. Um, I don't. I don't like nuts. I know that sounds weird. After I was talking about wieners before, but I'm just not a fan of nuts. And that's fair. Also. All of that cream is just going to squish right out of that sandwich. Because when you bite down on it like a sandwich, it's just going to compress and all the cream is just going to get out. Mm. This is going to be, these either are bite-sized morsels that you just pop in your mouth, or it's the construction is a problem. Because granola mm. bars, even chewy ones... Especially even true chewy ones, they're still they still have a lot of uh, it, it's, they're very firm, right? So it, it still yeah, right. takes much to bite down through. Uh, chewies obviously are a little bit easier to chew through because they're soft, but it's it's not going to work as well as it doesn't work as a sandwich with the for Mm. the construction is an issue i I think Mm. so besides the fact that i don't want it because i'm not an almond fan i'm not a nut fan um so it's just i'm sure it's fine i'm sure it tastes good but not for me it's a skip it's a skip for you yeah if you took out the nut part of it i'd probably be more inclined But here we are. Yeah. Okay. It's a. I will try it. I. 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 To. To be blunt, I eat granola bars a lot. I eat them all the time. I don't mm-hmm. necessarily. This is nothing, like fantastical or new to me. Um. So I. I'm. I. And I'm also kind of like Jeff. Like I feel like this would just be a squishy, like all the cream's gonna come out of the sides anyway. Um. And I am sus on what the cream is. And that's the other part. Um, right. But it's fine. It's it's fine. I, I'm not hating it. I'm just 
feeling a certain kind of way about it. I would That's try great. it. If someone got it, I would try it. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm in the try camp. Like, I, like there's nothing revolutionary necessarily about this. And after listening to what you guys had to say, I was like, yeah, now if this was in a bowl or mm. like a parfait and like the right. granola was like, you know, cut up into little pieces or something, then like, and I eat it with a spoon, I probably would be much more right. interested. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's take a left turn at Albuquerque to quote a famous cross-dressing cartoon character. Um, And so this is jalapeno chocolate chip cookie dough on a stick. It says it's a delightful fusion of sweet and spicy designed to tantalize taste buds like never before. At the heart of this innovative creation lies signature chocolate chip cookie dough dipped in jalapeno chili infused milk chocolate coating topped with crispy jalapeno pieces and, wait for it, flaming hot Cheetos. And by the way, I'm pretty sure that the chocolate chip cookie dough has been pasteurized for your protection. Right. So one would hope, don't worry one would about so. any any raw egg or something like that, or maybe even right. an eggless cookie dough, which makes it probably bad. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna have to put a pass on this. Um, it sounds good, but then they threw in flaming hot Cheetos, <laughs> and I'm. <laughs> I mean, hot cheetos is not bad in and of itself. Not really something I enjoy having, but I could skip it for for something like that. So if it was just jalapeno chocolate chip cookie dough on a stick without the flaming hot cheetos, I'd probably be more inclined on it. But because they have the yeah. flaming hot cheetos, I'm gonna say V. It's a skip for me too. I hate to say it. Okay. Um, I don't. I jalapeno chocolate. No, flaming hot Cheetos. No, cookie dough. <laughs> no. You just you don't like cookie dough. Like I don't. I I don't. I don't. Even like I. Not a hard. Okay, gasp, let me. Okay. Just a, a, a mild. Let me mild rephrase. Gasp. I can do some cookie dough. But it's usually like in like an ice cream or in something like that. And Mm -hmm. I might be tempted to try this, but usually for me, me and cookie dough, I'm kind of a no. You don't like licking the beater? The bat. No. Mm -hmm. Cake batter. He'd rather lick the person that beat it. That's true. Anyone? Anyone? No? Okay. See, that's, Moving on. That, that's where another fast fan would come up. I cannot call that shade. <laughs> Gary, how about you, shady bitch? Uh. <laughs> um, so I was really good with this. And then when they said Flaming Hot Cheetos, I was like, really? Like, this is screaming to the kids. This is screaming. Like, this is to the hotheads out there. Like, this is to the fanatics who love Flaming Hot Cheetos. And I was like, eh, I don't know. So I went, this is at Cora and Mila's Cookie Dough. So they have, Mm -hmm. you know, obviously they have a location. And I go to their, like, page. I'm like, ah, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely, like, like a kid. Like, well, probably adults, too. Don't get me wrong. They probably like it, too. But, like, it's Cookie Dough on a stick. So, Yeah. It makes sense to me that this is something. Oh no, okay. I might try something that they have because they have deep fried cookie dough. Sorry, that I might be interested in. So, I mean, I guess my feeling on it is, if somebody else bought it and I could have a taste, mm-hmm. like a bite of of all the different flavor component pieces, I might be intrigued. But I am not spending money on this. So you're a try it. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm a try it. I'm not going to pass on it completely, 
I'm going to try it, but I ain't fucking shelling money out for this. Like, there are, be- there are better things on the menu. I'm just saying. That part. Like the deep fried cookie dough that I just mentioned. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's move out of sweet into savory. Next up is the loaded baked potato churro. So it says, dig into all the goodness of a loaded baked potato with a crispy deep fried outer layer. The loaded baked potato churro is stuffed with the classic baked potato toppings like bacon, chives, cheddar cheese with a house made sour cream and onion dipping sauce on the side. You had me at loaded baked potato. Right. (laughs) That's an immediate, immediate, get it in me now. So the picture shows i guess like three of these quote-unquote churros and i think churros is really pushing it like i think they are they are just rods of potato goodness like but i guess potato rod was just not acceptable or something and they decided to call it a churro because i'm like there really isn't anything churro about this technically in my opinion that's fair but yeah um yeah, okay, so uh, potato log, whatever, like, you know, uh, you know, call it something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm also, I would buy this, too. I would definitely buy this. Carrie. See, I, I, I'm a, I'm a definite try. I think mm. it depends on what mood I'm in. Because, mm. like, if, like, I'm having a beer, this is a buy. Right. But, like, but if I just, like, ate a bunch of other stuff... Like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, well, hold on. A moment. I can see that. Uh oh. I, I might be changing my mind a little bit. I'd probably buy it, but I'm probably on the low end to buy. And here, here's why because I'm rereading the description. Mm-hmm. Loaded baked potato churro is stuffed with the classic baked potato toppings like bacon, chives, and cheddar cheese with homemade sour cream and onion dipping sauce on the side. As far as I can tell, there's no potato. Well, it's, I think it's, that's... Chur- it's like a churro batter. <clears throat> so they, oh. they, but then they stuff it with the toppings of a loaded baked potato. All right. Now I call shenanigans. Yeah. Like, if I spent money on this and I find out there's no potato in it, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying. Listen to y'all. This is okay. I'm gonna just say this. This is at Worst Bar, which is a German place. Mm-hmm. I doubt it's worst. Whatever. Worst bar. I doubt there is not potato in this. I'm just gonna say that. I highly doubt that there is not potato in this. I don't know about that. But the description's not saying that. Yeah, yeah. To, to Jeff's point, like I think there's some I think there's some marketing shenanigans going on here. Okay. Or maybe you all are reading too like, much. Into like it. A, a a a loaded churro. Because when I think loaded, I think of cheddar cheese and sour cream and onions. Basically, right. all the toppings you're talking about. Like when you say loaded, that's what I'm thinking of for the topping. So if they just called it a loaded churro, I'd probably. I don't know. It. Yeah, this seems sus. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try could... it. I don't know if I'm going to so I, will, had I will buy the three. I'm probably still buy I will buy the three. I still like the topping. I'm still I will buy the three, and you two can try it, and I'll, and I'll eat no, the no. other one. No, no, okay. I'm no. I'm still no, no. in buy. I'm still in buy camp. Okay. I'm just not happy so, that I went to Right. Dave, Damon can buy it, and I will have a half of one. He will get the other two and a half. And I will decide whether or not I'm going to start like making picket signs and causing a riot <laughs> because I feel like it's like like you know misrepresented. Wow. And the way they can appease me is giving me me a free uh, chicken schnitzel tender like from their menu mm. because that that is a yes. Anyway, it's not that that's mm. on the menu of items. Yeah, I was just yeah, like yeah. I was looking I was looking through their menu and I was like, ooh, I would definitely. Get All that. I'm saying Anyways. is that Vest Bar needs to talk to Gertrude. You'll see why in a moment. Okay. So, uh, speaking of loaded, next up is the loaded gyro bratzel. So it says the sky's the limit when it comes to pretzel brats. The loaded gyro bratzel 
starts with a specialty Yero seasoned bratwurst wrapped in fresh pretzel dough topped with salt and baked to a golden brown perfection. Next, it's topped with lemon tzatziki sauce, herb feta cheese, and shaved red onion. The fantastic specialty Euro seasoned bratwurst is made by St. Joe's Country Market based out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. Kate, better marketing for, and it's not the exact same toppings, but it gets me wanting to go buy. And I will say buy because I love, I love bratwurst. I love pretzels. Soft pretzels is, is how I'm, I'm getting that this is. So before David and goes. Tzatziki I, I, sauce, I, feta cheese, shaved bread onion. So for me, I'm going to let David go last. For me, it's it's a yes. And I will buy it. And here's why. I already love bratwurst. I love gyro seasoning. I love gyros. Fresh pretzel dough baked is a win because it's not fucking deep fried. So that to me is impressive. The rest of the stuff is good. I'm not a huge fan of red onion. So I like the fact in the picture it's laid on top so I can like adjust to my taste. Like I don't have to eat all of the red onion is there. I can kind of pick. So for me, this is, this is, this is a buy and I'm happy with it. Damon. (laughs) I mean, so, I already know. I last, already know one last, thing that you have a problem with. So, so last week I talked about how I am not the biggest fan of brats. Like, I I don't like them. I love you, Jim. I, you heard me. I hurt Jim just gas in the kitchen. So, <laughs> any gas? Well, he Jim. loves your bratwurst, Jim. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> um, having said that, though, I like euros. Okay. And all of the things here are tantalizing to me. The okay. idea of the of the Euro season brought the pretzel dough kind of you know outside the lemon tzatziki, tzatziki sauce, the herb feta cheese, the shaved onion. I can I can deal without, but that's just a personal preference too. Um, this is a try possibly buy Hmm. okay yeah because despite my not being a big fan of bratwurst this would probably convince me i could eat bratwurst it's not my favorite thing to eat right but um this i would be like knowing this so i'll put it like this i would have to have read this to be interested Mm, okay. So if we were just walking around and you and it said like loaded Euro Bratzel and it didn't give me any kind of description, right. I might pass this by. Right. But reading this, I that that sounds really fucking good actually. It's, um, it, that that's totally fair. I would I would be willing to buy and then let you have a taste statement just to see if you really wanted to get it because I I get where you're coming from. You're like on name alone doesn't sell me. However, once you read the description and you get a feeling for what they're doing with it, you're like, "Oh, okay. Yeah, this yeah. is something I could I could get into." They sold me a they're, loaded uh, euro rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like for me I'll put it like this. There's a lot of flavors going on here that counter for me a brat. And also, the brat's not just a regular brat. Right. So that, 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 that's that. Yeah, that's for me. All right. That's for you. All right. Hold on to your seatbelts. We're going in a different direction. Sorry, I forgot to Next switch up, the image on that last one, so I'm giving him a few seconds on the last one. That's fine. Yeah. Um, we're yeah. going to a name of something we've never had before. A peanut butter and jelly saddlebag. Uh, I think I've been okay. told by the name. I'm curious about how it's a saddlebag. That's the question. But otherwise, right, right, right. I'm good. 
So it says the peanut butter and jelly saddlebag is something easy to eat while roaming the state fair. Enjoy fond memories of a deep fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich prepared in an empanada style. There's a word missing. Prepared prepared in an empanada styled what? Anyways, empanada style topped with a tiger stripe drizzle of chocolate syrup and a sprinkle of powdered sugar. Okay, so, so- it's Here, not words are missing. No, it's not that words are missing. It's words that are there. No, it should be it should be peanut butter and jelly sandwich prepared empanada style. Thank you. Top okay. with tigers. Yeah. Too many words. Yeah. yeah. But, it, listen, it, I it, copy uh, paste this shit. So <laughs> shame on them. Um, now I will say this: the picture, it's not that appetizing. Like it's delicious. I'm like. What the fuck am I looking at? I got I got brown chunks of something with brown on it. Like it's not winning me over. <laughs> but the name draws me in. I'm like, what the fuck's a saddlebag? Why is it peanut butter and jelly? I must know more. And I'm like, okay. Because a deep fried not... peanut butter and jelly sandwich empanada style. Yeah. It's hmm. peanut butter. I mean, it's essentially peanut butter and jelly. Uh, peanut butter. Peanut butter and jelly empanadas. That's basically what it is. The only thing which I am sure because of the way they're doing this, they I think they're like we don't want to claim these are actually empanadas. <laughs> I was going to say because I'm sure there are Latin people ready yeah. to riot. So they so they just say, hey, we did it in the style of an empanada, but we're not right. going to claim that it is an empanada. Correct. But it is an empanada. And one problem with it is when they say that it's like, you can carry this around with you. No, you can't. They got all that chocolate syrup on there. On there. That's, <laughs> that's not something that's conducive to just carrying around. A regular well, empanada, sure. But the the toppings of, of chocolate syrup and powdered sugar, that's 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 not going to gonna work work with that. However, right. that's just critique on, on why they say it that, this way um in some of their marketing here um but otherwise the delish dish itself looks delicious to me bye 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 i will say this would say bye 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 (laughs) as as i would as i look at it the presentation picture is meant to like be aesthetically pleasing. It is not the functional format they describe because I think if it's going to be handheld and carried around, it should be like in a wax paper, something or other, like, like a sandwichy type wrap thing. I don't know what, like to make it more functional. Cause right now it looks like it's on a lovely white ceramic scalloped right. edge plate. And I'm That's like, that is the presentation, honey. Right, 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 right. So I'm like, I agree with Jeff. Like the way it looks, I'm like, that does not look handheld. However, it can be, I guess. Um, I would try it. I don't think I'd buy it only because a part of me is like, eh. (laughs) Like, it's not really impressing me. So if Jeff buys it and he's willing to let me have a bite, I will probably like have a taste, but uh, that's as far as it's going to go. It's not when we're at a fair and we're probably going to just go around eating a whole bunch of foods. I would definitely be the one that pay, that shells out the money for it. And I would definitely share. I mean, in any of these, I would. But if I'm having right. them individually for whatever reason, there's a, that's a different matter altogether. But in general, right. if we're at a fair and we're going around, I'm going to be getting a lot of food. So I really would like... Things that are essentially either really shareable or in a smaller packaging, you could say. Like one Uh one of these if I'm roaming around a fair. But just the idea of having that as a dish for like lunch or breakfast even in this case would almost be. Mm -hmm. uh, It feels more breakfasty to me Uh in some sense. Along the lines of like donuts and kolaches. Mm. That's fair. Yeah. Damon? This would probably be a try it for me. Um, I'm not 
it's it's not pulling me as much as some like uh, other things have in the that we've had on here before. Right. The and I I admit like kind of Gary was that the the picture is not the greatest. Um. It's not like appetizing. It's not feeling very appetizing to me. It looks good. It's just not great. And kind of moving on from there, I don't think this is portable. I I just don't. This is not going to be something you hold in your hand. Um, I don't think it's going to be something you hold in your hand. So I would try it. I would try it. Mm -hmm. The flavors sound good, but the execution, yeah, not so much. Anyway. That's fair. All right. So uh we're gonna kind of stay in this like weird name realm thing um let's try a rise and swine since jeff was mentioning it seemed breakfasty the last dish um this one is described as shatter the myth that you can't have dessert for breakfast with the rise and swine this warm brioche based waffle has pearl sugar nestled into the dough giving it just the right amount of sweet and caramelization. The waffle is then topped with Camp Bar's classic vanilla custard, a drizzle of Wisconsin maple syrup, gooey caramel sauce, toasted crunch bits, a dusting of powdered sugar, and for a savory twist, two made-to-order breakfast sausage links. And in the picture, they are skewered and then stuck into, like, this, this <laughs> dessert concoction. I'll go first. No. This is, oh. this is a, <laughs> so you're this skipping. Is a, this is a skip for me. There, okay. There is, not like, there are elements of this that I, I am like, oh, that sounds really good. It feels, I hate to say it, literally... The, the sausage was, like, stuck in there. Like, added it to, like, and now it's breakfast. Like, I mean, yes, it's a waffle, but, like, they threw the sausage links in there and, like, oh, now it's breakfast. Like, no, it's not. It's just sausage. Um, this is, a des- like, a dessert waffle. Like, this is, like, a Belgian waffle with a um, custard on top, sugar, caramel, syrup, and then, yeah. Is it? Does it sound good? Yes. But I would. It would be too rich for me. It'd be too indulgent for me. And the so, it feels kind of like again, added on for last minute to make it sound breakfasty. Jeff, what do you so think? I would skip this. I'm skipping for a different reason than Damon. Oh, okay. Uh, I think the presentation might be weird, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know, my... Can you, can you call out one of the things that I'm just not a fan of on this? The ice cream on dough. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Like ice or cream like and cake thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's a, that's unfortunate for me. Um, you just yeah. didn't have the custard. I'd probably be all for this. Um, or at least mostly uh, what actually kind of ruined it for me was uh, the pretentiousness of it. Mmm. Um, <laughs> brioche-based wow. waffle with pearl sugar nestled into the dough. <laughs> oh, God. I'm like, I'm at a freaking state fair. I'm not looking for, <laughs> for to get pretentious food here. It's a Belgian waffle. Like, <laughs> well, no, not necessarily. Uh, Belgian waffles, I don't think, are real. Uh, 
I don't know. Yeah. I'm I am so tickled by Jeff's like take your your foo foo word bullshit and shove it somewhere I mean, it's else. That camp bar. I'm like, would would a camp serve a brioche based waffle with pearl sugar nestled into the dough? No. If it was run by faggots, it would. <laughs> I mean that's fair. But wow. I mean that just means that they're <laughs> but that's just right. Regular... That's the point of thing. It's just they're very pretentious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's fair. But uh, Gary, what about you? No, uh, no. I, I'm, I'm not for that. I'm, I'm a downhole hole. I, I'm, 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 I'm a, what is it? I'm not that type Simple. of bag. <laughs> that's fair. Um, Gary. It's a, it's a skip. Ah. Yeah. But I would be willing to try it if they made a significant change. Which is? Ditch the sausage. And instead of that, for, for pork, because it's rise and swine. Yeah. So they need a swine I, I element. You're going to come up to your, your record. I want maple uh, coated bacon crumbles. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. I was okay. like, when I originally sprinkled, heard, heard it, I thought, over the, it. I thought the slime I, would be bacon. Just but immediately, I bought, and then I was kind of disappointed. Right, but it's got to be, it's got to be like the crispy, crunchity, like you know, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. bacony stuff, like, and not those, not not that bullshit bacon spit. No, 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 no. Like, like right. the real deal stuff. Right, and like I don't, I don't want just a little. Just a little sprinkle, like no, 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 bitch. Like we're we're not trying to like like to Jeff's point about the foo foo thing, like right. Like I want it. I want a significant amount of it because I want I want porkiness. You're calling mm-hmm. it rise and swine. Two little like shriveled up, flaccid like sausages that are on a skewer do not make swine. It's insulting so I, to the I'm pig. Be, let yeah, alone I'm like gonna... those of us that are gonna put it in our mouth. Come on. Like I'm gonna be blunt here. Those look like um like Jimmy D sausage, like little oh, like, they those, are. like the, they the are, rising yeah. sign like sausage, sausage links, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck that Gu- shit. Guaranteed can... Jimmy Dean's probably offended rolling over in his grave looking at this like monstrosity <laughs> that they created. I'm just saying. Yeah. And Don't get me I wrong, say... I love sausage with my breakfast, but and to, I will I will back that up and say I have put plenty of Jimmy Dean in my mouth. And like and I will again because it's convenient and it's good and it's and it's seasoned like you know to the American yeah. palate. It's probably too salty, too much MSG, and all that bullshit. So like, it yeah. serves a place, but not here, not here. And I think I would like this better. And this is just me. Like, if you had just kept it as a waffle, taken away the custard, added just like a whipped cream. Um, and I agree. Like, mm-hmm. add bacon, add the sausage. Bacon and mm-hmm. sausage. Yeah, and just have a cream bow. instead of instead of uh, yeah. a, a, mm-hmm. a custard. Right. Yeah, I would be. All the other things are fine. Like you know, I'm fine in, with that. Lean into the swine part more. That part. That. And and yeah. and don't get all pretentious on your waffle. All right. If we'll you get, said brioche-based waffle and it was just a brioche-based waffle, I wouldn't think nothing of it. It was when you did pearl sugar nestled into the dough, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody hold on to your to your bitter old man hats. Uh, next up is the shepherd's pie dipper. So the shepherd's pie dipper takes shepherd's pie and makes it handheld. The Irish beef is simmered in a Guinness gravy, mm, then ladled onto a French roll that has been spread with Irish onion dip. The beef is topped with sweet corn niblets, shoestring potato chips, and served with a souffle cup of Guinness gravy for your dipping pleasure. Hold. <laughs> Well, that was easy. Jeff's buying it. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> Put it in my mouth. 
Uh, oh boy. It's full of innuendo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait till we get to description. Um, <laughs> um, oh boy. Um, <sighs> Do you need a moment, Damon? I need a moment. You go ahead. Okay. Uh, this is where I think this is pretentious. I was perfectly fine reading the whole description, and I tried really hard not to throw my opinion into it. I was really good until we got to shoestring potato chips. What the fuck is that? I mean, that's fair. what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie is a casserole. I get it. You're trying to make it handheld. So you put it in a lovely bun and you like, you know, and you do all this stuff and it's such a great description. And then you're like, do you know what we need? We need fried crispy bits of something that are technically, I guess, replacing the mashed potatoes. Right. Right. That turned me off. Mm. That I'm is irritated. a fair... That is fair. I thought I am when you said it said you uh, you were a, a pretentiousness in the fact that they said souffle cup. No, that that no, that's a, that's just a term for the dipping cup thing. Um, so I'm just I'm just irritated about the shoestring potato like thing. I'm like, really? You know what you should have done? In my opinion, I'm sorry. I'm like taking I, up I David's space. This, I think, but I'm like, anything. put mashed potatoes in a piping bag and pipe it down the middle on top of all of the Irish beef with the gravy, yada, yada. You don't have to put it under the broiler to crisp up the top. I don't give a shit about that. But if you're going to call it shepherd's pie, I want some goddamn creamy, like unctuous, like yummy fucking mashed potatoes. Oh. No, I don't want no handy cap bullshit shoestring potato chip things. How dare you? Yeah, Take I, your matchsticks and shove up your ass. I'm offended. Yeah, you don't I'm... need a crunch. You can't, don't look at this and be like, oh, we need something crunchy on this. You don't need a crunch. Here's the thing is, I'm okay with the shoestring potatoes. And they call it chips because they, they, they fried, you know, they're chip-like. Um, but they're shoestring potatoes. Um, mm -hmm. I'm fine with that, uh, personally. But yes, that would be an improvement. Uh, you can make me want it more. Is if they just replace the shoestring potatoes with mashed potatoes. Just, just, just a spread. You don't need to do the whole piping bag bullshit or anything. Just, just use that as a spread. <clears throat> I, for a moment, right I thought Jeff, you were right going to say, for a moment, Jeff, I thought you were going to say, just lunch lady it and put like, just use the little scooper and put the <laughs> mashed potato lumps across it or whatever. But, you know, no, I no, mean, no. do like a Subway sandwich and just like, just do some yeah, lumps of potato yeah, yeah. and just spread it around a little bit. Anyway. Uh, Heck, you, probably going to be a just take one of those like spread, uh, like cake knives. Yeah. Or the, the cake yeah. spatulas, even, you know, something like that. Or yeah. or just a knife, a butter knife. Just, just spread it on like butter. Yeah. Spread it. Spread them. Um, but I, 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 uh, I'm still by the buy category. Right. For me, this is probably going to be a try it. Um, I like shepherd's pie. I like Irish beef. I think this might be a good idea in theory. I just, I agree with like Gary, I think the execution is a little off. And I'm also not a fan of, I would be curious about the Irish onion dip. Mm. Uh, I'm assuming it's a little bit more like creamy based maybe as I'm looking at this picture really heavy. But I'm genuinely surprised that this is not on a potato roll. <gasps> mm, yeah, it would be better. And with the final blow of <laughs> the wood stake in the heart of the vampire, Damon <laughs> vanquishes the enemy. How dare you not put it on a potato roll? <laughs> Fair just, point. Just, Again, I'm just fine saying. as is, but I agree with all your improvements. Yeah. 
like I think this, like I said, this would probably be a try. I feel like if Jim read this description, he would probably be interested in buying it, and I would ask for a bite. Yeah, yeah. It offends my my culinary like want. Terry is offended. I am. I, I need to make pretentious a, a, I'm gonna, a tag. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm going to make a goddamn like picket sign and I'm going to like tell them down with the p- matchstick potatoes, get some goddamn mashed potatoes on this thing. For Christ's sakes, you're at a state fair. This isn't supposed to be fancy food. Speaking of which. All right. So moving on as we're getting close to wrapping up the Wisconsin bacon brandy old fashioned bubble waffle. Told. It says del- Delight your taste buds as you bite into the crispy yet fluffy bubble waffle infused with the rich flavors of maple syrup, bacon, and topped with maraschino cherries. I don't or maraschino, depending on how you pronounce it. I'm a little old hmm, on the maraschino cherries, but... I'm a little hmm on the bubble buy. waffle. Bubble waffle? Have you not heard of buffle, bubble waffles before? No, I they have are, not. By the way, bubble yeah. waffle is a street food. Okay, I have I have heard of buffalo wa- bubble. <laughs> I've heard of bubble waffles before. I have not had them. So this that to me, I'm like, oh, okay, it's just a different kind of waffle. Um, oh, okay, I see now. I'm looking at pictures. Sorry, don't get me wrong. I'm looking. That's at okay. It. I I understand. Okay, it's like okay, so it's basically a con like a con convex. Convex it's an waffle. inverse Instead of a regular waffle. Yeah, inverse. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. So instead of having the little, like, cups, like the little valleys where all the syrup mm-hmm. and everything gets caught, it's the opposite. Everything is outwards, and so you have, right. like, the thin connecting material right. um, between the bubbles. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and look, okay. you can you can buy them for relatively, like, 30 to $50 online, apparently, if you wanted to have a bubble, like, waffle baker at home. That's, that's or if you're Damon, you can use your Macy's discount and probably get that some bitch for cheaper. Um, <laughs> that's an inside thing to the patrons. Um, so, uh, I will. Hmm. Hmm. This is the type of thing that I would expect at a state fair. By the way, basically, right. state yeah, fair food should essentially be street classic. food, right? Don't get too yeah. pretentious on it. Just be weird. Yeah, I ooh, mm. yeah, I would buy this. I would be I the sound the flavoring the flavors sound very interesting to me. The the combination sounds delightful, like bacon and brandy and 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 um, maple syrup and and I mean cherry, yeah, I can give or take that, but. Um, all of the other flavors sound very interesting to me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I would buy this. I would buy this. Jeff? Oh, I, I said off the top, I was just going to buy it immediately. I said sold. Okay. Got yeah, it. I mean, Got it. I, I was like a little like, huh, maraschino cherries. That seems odd, but it's not turning me off. I'm just like, hmm. Yeah. It, it got me, give me a little curious, but I mean, just look at the name Wisconsin bacon, brandy, bubble waffle, old fashioned, to, just to add or subtract anything, bubble right. waffle. And I'm like, oh, immediately. Mm. Yeah. Gary, what about you? Um, I'm doing a little research on something, but my I it, it's a skip. Oh, a skip. it doesn't it doesn't do anything for me. It, it feels a little too classic. Uh, that's, mm. fair. that's a fair. And I'm like, eh, it's OK. <laughs> All right. I figured out why it's called old fashioned. Why? They're referring to the drink. Uh, oh, oh. Old old fashions can be made with brandy, and they get right. a cocktail cherry, right? A maraschino cherry, yeah. 
That's fair. I think I think that was a little too difficult to pick up, though. So I think Mm. if that's what they're going for, mm, yeah. Like I, I I just yeah. When you when you said that, it made sense. Like to me, when I read old fashioned, I was like, oh, it's an old fashioned bubble wall. Like, right, (laughs) right. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Why? Why is the? Why are the words in the order that they are? Wisconsin bacon. Brandy, old-fashioned, bubble waffle, but they don't put dashes or commas or anything, so you just have to sh- figure out the like the the cadence, I guess. And I was like, let me look up an old-fashioned. It's a cocktail mm-hmm. made with muddling sugar and bitters with whiskey, sometimes brandy, garnished with an orange slice or a cocktail cherry. So I was right. like, right, 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 right. So they're going with a specific like kind of like profile thing, and I'm like, eh. Like, like the fact that it's a waffle with toppings on it, there's nothing revolutionary about it. So, I'm like, mm, you know, what? sometimes yeah. that's the best food. Great. Got to go to the I, I, I guess so. I, I don't know. If I'm if I'm going to the fair and I'm spending my hard earned money and I'm fattening myself up, like I want I want new things. I want different things. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, I well, like, this is different I, I, for me. I've never had a, had a uh, mm-hmm. brandy old fashioned bacon bubble waffle. Neither have I. Neither That's have I. I've never had That's one of fair. those before. It's something, it's a little twist on a classic. There we go. I'm okay with that. Again, <laughs> again, you go to a fair, it's street food. Don't get all fancy. In this case, they all they did was gotten weird. Weird is good. <laughs> Speaking of weird... All right, so we're going to end the show kind of where we started it, I regret, at least for Jeff. Um, so this is called the Whisk Corn Dog. The Whisk Corn Dog is a new type of corn dog, alternating bites of plant based brat, so Damon's out, crunchy kosher dill pickle, and cheddar cheese on a skewer that is dipped into sweet cornmeal batter and deep fried to perfection. So, so the picture is of one finished and then one halfway through assembly so you can understand what they've done. However, the assembly picture does not technically match the description because it says alternating bites. Those are not alternating bites. Those are segmented bites. Mm-hmm. Because in the picture, it's all cheese, then all pickle, then all veggie brat, I guess. Right. And I'm like, no, alternating means like you you rotate through, like you get one and then one and then one and then you go back and you start over again. Like, mm-hmm. anyways, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm being I'm being super pedantical and annoyed. <laughs> yeah, you're being very pedantic. maybe by doing if they were to actually show that it. It, it, it wouldn't look as good, so they decided to do a a segmented version. So it's like maybe it's just like a portion of it, and they actually do alternate. But I mm. think if they made it the way I said it, it would look ribbed for our pleasure. I'm just saying. So that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> for those that don't know and, and are not watching, one of my favorite things now is to just like get reactions out of day, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Um, so anyways, it's a skip for me. <laughs> it's a skip for me. <sighs> yeah, no, this is, this. Hmm, I'm, I'm not, if I'm going to have a brat, I want like an actual brat. Um, plant-based brought does not appeal to me in any way shape or form i figured as much the cheddar cheese yes the dill pickle yes if this had been even maybe even a regular brat yeah i might give it a shot if it had been like a hot dog i definitely would have tried it um but this the way it is and i get it it's probably meant to be the vegetarian option because there's people out there that need that stuff and that's fine and well and good i'm i'm good i'm 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 good like i i would skip this too um 
Sorry to end this 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 smorgasbord on a on a on a. On no, a we did that uh, last episode too. It's fine. Yeah, bad note, but well. Yeah. So here's the thing. This part two, I just realized we weren't really won over by anything. <laughs> the one dish that we all kind of were in agreement on, I think, was the loaded gyro pretzel. That right. we were all willing to buy it, and like you know, even Damon and I were like, "Well, we can, we can, we can pick. Like we can yeah. kind of, you know." Yeah, I would get that. Yeah, but again, it, this, uh, yeah, there are things here I would try. There, there's just a lot of. I think there are a few things here that I was like, "Eh, I don't, there I don't." Are a few need things it. here, which with with some changes, would be more appealing to some of us. Right. And just that granola bar cream sandwich trio, that's just wrong. It's <laughs> you, you can't use granola bars to to as for sandwiches unless it's like something that can keep its own sh- its shape itself. Anything that's mm. gooey will just squeeze out. Well yeah. unless you're trying to go 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 the s'mores route but was even the s'mores route at least the uh graham crackers uh, are easier to break through so you're mm. not completely squishing everything out yeah mm. so listen in these two episodes we've gone through about a fifth of all the foods that are of the 100 plus available at the wisconsin state fair this year um, the Wisconsin State Fair is August 1st through the 11th, so you've got plenty of time that you could actually, you know, book yourself your own flight and uh-huh. head over and check that stuff out. There's lots of beverages we didn't get into. Um, both of my co-hosts are welcome for me not putting bug juice um, up as an option. Wait, um, what, what is bug juice? Uh, you don't, don't, mm, I'll be back. Hang on. As I say, David, you could just like <laughs> turn just because off your it has a, for a second. Just because it has, has a, a disgusting sounding name. Doesn't mean it's so, not necessarily a good bug juice is green juice with ice cubes that have real edible bugs in it. And the rim of the cup is a uh, caramel sauce with black ants and topped okay, with a scorpion. I'm completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm gesturing okay, for David wait a to minute. Hold now on. That... I'm not totally knocking this out. Give me a little more description. That's it. And now that you have the description. I think that's the end of the show. <laughs> That's a skip. <laughs> we haven't gotten to the point where we have to eat bugs. Mm. I'm sure they're perfectly fine and delicious. Maybe some roasted ants or something, but I would try that. I would try. Anyways. But this, no. In any case, plain ways to contact us. Let us know what you think of these. Were we right or wrong on any of these? Is there anything that you would have improvement of on Please leave a comment on our blog at CubsOutLoud.com where you'll find all the links to all of this. Uh, you'll find it. You can also email us at CubsOutLoud at gmail.com. Leave us a voicemail at 361 C Talk. That's 361-265-8255. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at CubsOutLoud in the appropriate place of the URL. You can join our entourage chat at bit.ly slash telegram dash col. You can find out when we're planning on recording these shows, except for this one, where we actually recorded it offline. Sorry, folks. That's why you didn't see a live show this week. But you can find out when we are recording at bit.ly slash calendar dash col. You can get various accoutrements such, uh, from our Zazzle store, such as a made-to-be shirt, a consent is my foreplay shirt, and many other styles, including two new sets of lines. Or whatever the blank says series as well as some new designs by smashy the specialist series check it all out at zazzlezazzle.com slash comes out loud find more of smashy's work over on tpublic.com slash user slash smashy the bear please support him as well you can also become a patron for us at patreon.com slash comes out loud or send this a donation at paypal.me slash comes out loud you can very find us on the various podcasting platform please raise a review us there the more you rate Rate us, the more people see us in their algorithm. In their feeds. You can find me anywhere on the internet as box at box puppy box cub box cubby. Uh, or box something or other. Anywhere in line. Demon. 
If you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me at TheaterCub79, that's T-H-E-A-T-R-E-C-U-B-79, on most beer related sites or on Facebook. Or you can find me as Pup underscore Umbra on Twitter or Pup Umbra 79 on Blue Sky. Both of those are not safe for work. For the safe for work stuff, you can go to DMA Gamer 79 on TikTok or Twitter. Gary? If you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as GareBear73. And with that, say good night, everybody. Who's your bear? Nope. Wrong one. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> Have a good one, y'all. Beep, beep.